Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial series by Profiles3. In today's episode we're going to be discussing transitions and specifically uh, modifying these transitions. So firstly we're just going to talk about what different transitions there are and where we can find them. So as you can see here I am working in the effects workspace. So if I go over to my effects um, you can see here we see video transitions and audio transitions. Today we're going to be focusing on video transitions as they're obviously easier to see. Um, so what we're going to do first is drag a transition on to our timeline. So there's several you can choose from here or what I'm actually going to do is right click and use my default transition. So my default transition is the cross dissolve. So as you can see, this has been placed right bang in the middle between the two clips. And here's how it looks. So you'll see the smooth transition um, between the two clips. If I put my playhead at the beginning, you just see the first clip and at the end of the second. So if I bring my playhead to the beginning of the clip, and click on my transition. If you hover over the right hand side of it, you can drag. And as you can see, it's not just the right hand side that's moving, it's also the left hand side. So everything moves in a symmetrical way. Um, should you wish to just adjust one side of the transition, you simply hold the shift key on your keyboard and drag whichever way you want. And it will drag the transition further into the second clip. Um, but that is only if you wish to not keep it symmetrical. So as you can see, this is how we adjust and modify the transition. There are other ways you can do this. So if you double click on the transition, you can adjust the duration to a, an exact amount of seconds. So if I put this to 30 seconds, you will see it get bigger. Um, another thing we can do is click on the transition and go to our effect controls and here we can see the diagram here of the transition so this is clip one so if we adjust the transition you will also see it take place here should you accidentally drag it too far um, you may get a warning which says uh, this transition may contain repeated frames as there's insufficient media to complete the transition so try and avoid that as it will not be as smooth of a transition as you may like. So there's not too much to the effect controls of the transitions. So there are a few options here on the drop down list which you can take a look at. Um, and again the duration. So you can also use this tick box to show the actual sources. And another thing you can do is go up to edit, down to preferences and to, down to timeline and then here you can see the video transition default duration so you can change that um, and again with the audio transition default duration so there's a drop down you can have it in frames or seconds and the same with the video so that's just something to keep in mind and that brings us to the end of our tutorial if you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments section below this video and one of our team will get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.